let's look at converting between logarithmic and exponential equations. For example, let's rewrite this logarithmic equation as an exponential equation. Now we have the following equivalence between logarithmic and exponential forms. For a, x, and y, with a and x greater than 0, and a not equal to 1, log base a of x is equal to y is equivalent to a to the y is equal to x. Notice here that the answer to the logarithm, namely y, is the exponent that we raise this base to to get what we're taking the log of. So matching our equation to the left-hand side here, we have that the base a is equal to 4, x, what we're taking the log of, is equal to 1 over 64, and y, the answer to the logarithm, is equal to negative 3. And therefore, the exponential form would be a, which is 4, raised to the yth power, or the negative third power, is equal to x, or 1 over 64, which would be our answer. And sure enough, 4 to the negative third power, we know, is 1 over 64. All right, what about going in the other direction? Let's rewrite this exponential equation as a logarithmic one. Again, we have this equivalence here, but we'll be starting on the right side now. We'll let a, our base, be equal to 3, our exponent, y, be equal to 4, and our answer, x, be equal to 81. Now, writing this in the equivalent logarithmic form gives us that log base a, which is 3, of x, which is 81, is equal to y, which is 4. And this would be our answer. So we use this equivalence here to convert between logarithmic and exponential forms. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.